hello everyone how are you guys doing today we're back with an awesome website and it is an animated tjs website it is so awesome i'm sure you guys are going to love it now before we get into the video i need you to smash that like button i need you to smash that subscribe button and leave a comment uh, it really helps this channel to grow and motivates me to keep doing this cool and interesting project for you guys i want to really focus more on animated websites so please make sure you like the video thank you let's get into our website a quick demo now this is the site we have a globe here that keeps rotating along the x-axis uh, we're going to be using 3js to do this we can see there's this kind of like it's in space kind of theme going on in the background with white um, like stars you get and if we scroll down we're scrolling down right now once we scroll down it activates the scaling so when we go scroll up it scales back down when we scroll down it scales back up and we can see the whole thing is rotating even the text in the middle and as you scroll up we can see uh, right up here we can see this 3 3js um, rotating cube with nft images on it uh, we can see some text here and if we go down we can see some images these images rotate beautiful we scroll down we have another 3js powered model over here i got this model and i'm using it right now and join the growing ecosystem we scroll down we see some in images here nice images and over here we see our partners sliding from the right to the left and from here sliding from the left to the right then we have this uh, mini footer here now this site is also uh mobile friendly if we just minimize this whole thing here we can see everything is still looking neat we have our um scrolling from the right to the left items here we have our images we have these images as well this floating planet with a plane over there our images that rotate and a floating um cube over here and if we scroll up we can see our globe rotating so this really awesome website i'm sure you guys are already loving it as you're seeing it if you need me to set this up for you no problem just send me dm on telegram or, or my instagram the link is in the description uh, i know you guys may think ah oh, he's, a, he's a youtuber he's going to charge us really really high no 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 don't think that just send me a dm i'm available okay now um if you don't want to do that if you want to go see how i created this um you're going to go through it with me now i need to create a react project okay over here i've already created mine and i need you to install some certain things okay for example i need you to type in your console let me just go up and show you an example of what i need you to type in the console let me slow this up come to see clear i need you to type npm install we're going to install at react 3 slash dre we also need at react slash 3 slash fiber okay we also need uh math because you'll be giving us some random numbers we also need react fast mark you we also need react slick then we also need 3js and we're good to go okay if i missed anything it should be here like this react bootstrap i think maybe we may need this uh i don't think we need react spring i was using this for like a testing something and this is why i just created my code so cancel all of that npm star okay see cool 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 very very cool we can also admit many other things like uh, models and stuff like that like for example i have some websites where i get models from like pizza heaven or Sorry, my system is slowing down. I'm about to change my PC. It's really not keeping up. Ever since I started coding with 3JS, my PC just doesn't keep up anymore. So in 
Poly Pizza, we can find free models that we can use. I'll be showing you guys how to use these models in your code. Um, also, Poly Haven and Sketch. Okay, yeah, Sketchfab is also very good. Um, Poly Haven is very good for like um, environmental HDRIs or like um, textures. Like very, very good. Let's see some HDRIs here while our site is loading up. Okay. So yeah, so like you can see some editor of models here. So here we can get environment um HRIs, very very cool. And Sketchfab, we can also get some models and stuff. So if wherever you learn here, you can go get some models and use them in your site as well. Okay, so I've already gotten the models and that's what we'll be using. And let's try and replicate this. Okay, let's go here. Now this is what we've started here, our instance. So let's just close this. Close our packages JSON and we're going to start with the app folder. Okay. Now, some things I may copy and paste, some things I may pull directly. It just depends on like how I want to explain it for you guys. Okay. So let's start with the first thing. We have a div class name. We have width 100 percent. Now, this is going to be div that is going to contain our um canvas, so to speak. So we have BG width. 800 okay then we have a div class name text c 3 f a 1 okay then we have text to excel we have medium size or when our screen is on medium we want text to be 6 excel Okay, let me just do something. Okay, six Excel because like if I leave that open, it's just going to like slow my system and my system is really really like not strong anymore. Like I need to change it. Also, um, padding up and down, um, three. Then padding to the left, we want ten. Flex rule and flex. Yeah, flex. So here B class name. So here we're just going to say um, flex one, and we're going to say the title ever do. Okay. Okay, exactly. Then here we're going to say image source. Okay, this code image source and class name. We're going to see BG white padding one rounded LG height of six. Okay, so let's see how that is going. We also have a small Discord image here. Okay, so our Discord image here. Okay, so we're done with that. Um, okay, so now we go down, we say div, we say class name. And we say height 200 view height. Now, when you say 200 view height, when you say 100 view height, you're just meaning uh, like 100% of the screen of the screen view height. So if the screen is like this, you're saying like 100, like up top to bottom. When you say 200, you're saying times two, so times two of the screen height, okay, of the viewing height. So here we forget to put our brackets. Let's put our brackets. Then down here we're going to say the letter canvas now my naming the way i name things is like terrible so like just bear with me this is going to what we're going to use to display our globe okay now let's go to later canvas okay it's a component in scenes so here we have the later canvas now we need to start working on that okay so how do we start later canvas first of all we're going to say we're going to say canvas Okay, so this is like the canvas in which we're going to like paint our you know, beautiful picture. Here we're going to say constant um, letter C. So we're going to create the scene here. I equals this. Then my system is not ha is not like enjoying 
doing this like video editing is just it is just ridiculous like it is really really slow now okay so let us see in here we have our canvas okay so in our canvas we're going to see we're going to paint the later scene okay okay beautiful now that we have our scene we need to like um okay i'm not going to do the camera right now but you guys can just like see something going on okay so over here now we're going to create our point material which is going to be the um stars effect okay so we're going to say group we're going to say rotation okay no let's just say group close this the system is not is not catching up at all say points okay okay perfect but i want i want us to be done with this so like i need to make sure this video goes out very soon so now that we have our points and uh, in, in the group we need to give a points material but before we can do this we need to give it some um i pray some reps okay so let's come up here we're going to say constant ref equals to use ref okay so then in this we're going to say constant sphere okay is equal to u state random dot in sphere and we're going to say new loop 32 array is okay if you don't really understand this this is just like giving those points that we saw like the space effect like we want it to be like random we want it to be like um the points to be in a random uh, in the screen okay so it's fine if you don't really understand this uh it's not really anything like should like worry about right now so this is just like to get this up and running well when we're putting the models the scaling effects um implementing the models in the skin scene then you can start to like get a good idea of like what's going on okay so our radius we're going to say 1.2 okay so we're done with our sphere right now now we're going to go back to our group and we're going to see over here and see rotation equals to zero zero max dot pi slash four okay scale equals to four and then the stride equals to three okay then in our points uh we're going to come here we're going to say ref equals to ref we're going to say positions equals to sphere okay then we're going to say stride equals to three and we're going to say first um okay okay so inside here we're going to say points point material okay we're going to say transparent okay hope i'm spelling this right yes we're going to say color this is going to be colors of the stars uh, we're going to see we're going to be able to change this i will show you guys how to change it we're going to say the size is equal to this is the size of the stars but don't worry, once we've typed it um, i'll show you guys how to like edit it so you can like get exactly what you want alternation equals to true it's right okay so we have our group set up of a little canvas but now as you can see we have the points 
so you can see is like um i think it's where let's change this to green and see okay so see our points right it is perfect now we need our points to be like moving obviously okay so we're going to work on that now okay so now we're just going to come here and we're going to say use frame okay we're going to say state uh underscore delta direct dot current dot rotation dot x minus or equal to delta slash 10 so we're going to um alt i think it's the old shift right okay yeah so we want this delta c is already spinning spinning like crazy but we need to reduce that speed so we're going to say slash 10 here okay? and we're going to say slash 15 here then here we're going to change this to y okay so we'll come back here and just refresh okay so you can see everything is moving so much better okay we have this in our 200 view height okay so everything is moving so much better right now now you can see this is green i'll show you guys here i can change the color from here we can also change the size like if i just delete this zero and we look at the size again you see that we like much much bigger so as you see so 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 much bigger like crazy big so we don't want it to be crazy big so we just go back to our zero okay so now perfect perfect okay so now um the background here is white we don't want the background to be white right we want it to be like darkish okay let's go back to our app.js i can see here we put gray 800 and i don't think this thing is like reflecting on this page i don't know why okay so here is not e it's supposed to be a so we save it now we should see it reflect here boom see wow isn't that fantastic guys fantastic so let's go back to our code um later canvas and here uh, i want us to change this to white okay because it's white we're using white okay so once we change it to white we should see its effect okay so let's go back to okay you can see everything is white perfect perfect now uh for the sphere okay let's work on the sphere okay so in our group we come down we create another group Okay, so in our group, we create points. We say ref. You see this? Okay, I'm sorry. And now also we need to also work on something. The camera angle. Right now we are too close up. We want to be a little bit far away from the in the camera. Okay, because it's like a camera in our scene. So over here in our canvas, we're going to say camera okay i want to say equals to when see field of view should be 45 when see near should be 0 0.1 and we're going to say position should be 0 comma 2 comma 10 okay so that's perfect so now you can see you see the camera will like go back a bit and everything will be like a bit smaller now perfect so that's exactly how we want our camera to work so let's go back to our uh, points we here so over here we're going to create a sphere ge geometry so we're going to say sphere geometry okay uh is this spelling correct yes it is correct and see we're going to give it some arguments and this should help with the size and everything 
So one, 64, 64, okay? And we're going to close this. So our square has not yet come out. Okay, so our square here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, I know what you're saying. Our square is ugly. Our square is not ugly. Our square is fucking. I can't use that. Our square is beautiful, okay? So now that we've got our spare, spare, sorry, we need to work on our ref. So we need to create a ref for this. So we'll come up here. I'm going to say constant spare ref. Now, forget my spelling. My spelling is terrible. Just forget my spelling, okay? I told you guys, my naming conventions is terrible. Uh, I, I name terribly, okay? So in our points here, come here, say ref equals to spare right p okay exactly okay just checking to make sure that our video is recording oh, very very important okay so spare ref um we're also we continue now we also need to work on the scaling, okay? We'll work on the scaling soon. Let's just leave that for now. So we're saying sphere ref, and we're going to say position because we want to change the position of this uh, of this sphere is too down. We want it to come up, okay? So we're going to say on the x axis we want to be exactly zero, uh, on the y axis we want to be to one point nine, and on the z axis we want it to be zero. So if you guys did graph, um, you have like a better understanding of this, like how I was able to do this. Okay, so um, because this is two hundred view height, um, the middle is going to be like um, around here where this was before. Okay, so now we're just raising it up to go higher a bit. Okay, so that's just what we're doing. So now that we got that settled, we need to work on the scale. Okay, so we're going to go up here and we're going to create a scale. Because when we scroll down, it expands, okay? So we're going to come here, we're going to say constant scale set scale equals to use state. Okay? It's going to be one. Perfect. Okay? So when we scroll down, My system is seriously hanging, guys. Seriously hanging. Please make sure you like so I can afford to get another one. Okay. So scale here. All right. And we need to work on the material of this because, like, this shape is looking terrible. Like, very, very terrible. I'm sure you guys will agree. So we're going to come down here. We're going to see um, points material color equals to c3 f a 01 and size equals to 0 0.02 and slash this okay perfect exactly what i wanted now uh you can see our point material is set up now we've made a mistake over here no wonder we're getting some weird Let's refresh this. Okay. Exactly what we wanted. Exactly what we wanted. Now, this is really, really nice. Okay. So, uh, let's see when we make this zero. Oh, see, I think it created a nice effect that, like, oh, you know, no, no, that didn't work. So, let's make this 32. Okay, so it's not like has a doesn't have as much points as before so let's just take it back to 64 okay guys all right so our points material nice our sphere is looking nice now we need to add a text inside of here right uh okay so we come up here and we make a text and we scale it equal to 0 0.3 now you guys are wondering why are you getting this text off from another stuff i've already imported all of this we get our text from React 3 j and uh, we we'll get some things from Fiverr, 
from things called Joy as well. Okay, that's where I'm getting all these things from. All right, so 0 0.3, then I'm going to say color. I'm going to say color is equal to hash C3FA01. Okay, okay, and in our text, we need to open it up and type EFADO. R A, okay, and we save, and we let our system refresh. Our system is very slow, so we just have to play with it. Okay. Okay, so you can see that really, really nice. Okay, we have everything set up now. We want it to be rotating, right? We want this to rotate. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Before we want it to rotate, we want it to scale. Okay, how are we going to do the scale? Now the scaling is set out one. Now to improve on the scale, we're going to say use effect. Okay, I'm going to see this. Set up our use effect. We're going to say constant and do scroll. Okay, and this is just like a function that's going to help us with that. So I'm just going to copy and paste that because that's just what it's going to be doing. I'm going to paste that here and here we're going to see okay so this is going to make sure that anytime we window scroll there's a event listener that's checking the scroll anytime we window scroll it adjusts to this okay very very simple so so if we're scrolling boom boom very very nice effect very very nice effect so now we need this to rotate, right? We need this to rotate. How do we get this to rotate? We just come down here. We create a new use free. We're going to say underscore delta. Ref. We're going to target that ref dot current dot rotation dot y plus equals to delta slash one ten okay i'm going to save now our sphere should rotate definitely okay it's saying this is not defined yes it's not defined it's not doesn't need to be defined it's just it's just like signify state we are not using it you get so our our sphere is rotating successfully isn't that wonderful isn't that wonderful okay so you can see it's very easy to set up this thing it's just it's just like takes just a little bit of patience and we get set up now next to next we need to set up our cube okay so you go down here and instead of group we're going to create mesh yes mesh okay so we're going now mesh we're going to say Okay, we're not going to get any reference right now. We're just going to say box geo me tree. Okay. The metric is just with one n. Yes, okay. Close this. We're going to say mesh basic material. Okay. We're going to close this. Okay. So we need to create basic material for this. If we scroll, should see our queue. We, we have not seen our queue. Why have we not seen our queue? Let's refresh. It's supposed to see our queue by now. Okay, this is our queue. Perfect. Now, we need to create texture for our queue. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go up here. Uh, we're going to create another ref. We're going to say constant box ref equals to use ref. No, 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 computer. No, no, no. Ref. Okay. Very simple. Now we're going to come down here. We're going to say constant texture equals to use loader. We're going to say three dot texture loader. 
okay and we're going to get an image let me see image slash 30 dot png okay so we've gotten our texture okay so now that we've got our texture we need to go back to our mesh okay so in our mesh here in our basic material we're going to see map equals to texture okay very very simple we scroll down this should give us an image here um it's still like loading uh, i don't know if i have to refresh the page probably have to refresh the page so you guys can see it uh, all right perfect so you can see this works very very easy now we need to go to our mesh and we need to work on something we'll see ref equals to box ref and then we need to say position okay is equal to zero minus two zero okay now our box where we need to work on it with frame so over here we're going to choose here to work on it where we're rotating our sphere we're going to say box ref dot current dot rotation dot x is also equal to the delta slash pi okay so here we need to put minus one point dot okay or one dot is needed and here we're going to say box okay no let's go up and just do this okay so over here we're going to say box we're going to say rotation y okay instead of x this time uh now our cube should be rotating okay see wonderful our cube is rotating wonderfully so now we just need to put some mesh that we have as text okay so i'm just going to copy and paste this because it's just like uh the same a simple thing okay it's just like text okay then we're also going to go go down text is here um, i'm wondering how my position in this thing is actually very simple i'm using the y axis i put this minus 0 0.5 and this minus 3.5 this minus 2 so this appears below this and everything like this so we can see this in the background if you look closely look at it it's moving it's moving it's moving all right if we scroll everything compact so we're done with this section of the website we're done with our little Canvas. we're going back to our app okay so we close later canvas that is working perfectly so we just close this okay so let's continue our work now these parts are very easy so i'm just going to copy and paste some parts of this um over here we just have some divs with some write-ups and our images we have some class name that we work on them to make them rotate okay so now if we scroll up scroll scroll you can see this has been set up now we need to work on the next the next um canvas okay so we copy this we can paste this here so very very simple now this at canvas we need to work on this okay so if we come and see here we can see there's nothing over here that's because there's nothing in our earth canvas if we come to our earth canvas there's nothing over here so we need to work on our earth canvas okay so let's get started so on our x canvas uh we come to the div here we're just going to say canvas we're going to say camera field of view 45 near 0 0.1 position um 0 slash 2 slash 5 uh okay okay that works perfectly now i'm going to come back up here i'm going to see constant earth scene okay equal to this and equal to this equal to this okay i'm going to say return from this okay this is perfect now okay so we will need to return the earth scene inside here i'm going to say earth scene okay 
okay so um i think this is self-explanatory now i think we all understand how we got this okay so now first things first we need to come to add scene and create some things okay so we're going to come here we're going to say um constant model this is the first model we're going to use equals to use gltf okay let's use this and we're going to say slash model slash city dot glv okay that's our model then our next model is constant model 2 equals to use g l t f model slash airplane dot glv okay so that's perfect now that we've done that we need to come to our return here and we need to like make that work so first thing we're going to do we're going to say primitive okay let's say color let's say this like this then we're going to say object equals to model 2 dot we're going to add it to the scene okay then we're going to say position equals to zero x axis up in the y axis and zero in the x z axis so we're going to say scale equals to 0 0.01 we're going to say ref is equal to ref 2 okay i'm going to close this okay now we're going to copy this i'm going to make another one okay here we're going to say just the model and we're going to say position should be zero then we're going to say rotation equals to zero three zero and the scaling we're going to go with the scaling of one point two i'm going to cancel this rift we don't need this rift Okay, so let's scroll down and see what we have over here. Let's refresh this. Okay, so you can see we have a plane and we have this. This are model one, this are model two. Okay, now we want to be able to see what's going here. Everything is dark. Okay, we don't like everything dark. So what we're going to do, we're going to say ambient light. Okay, and save and we should have light added to there okay beautiful okay we've made our this thing disappear okay that's because on default it is white so we're just going to come here and say purple come here and say purple okay refresh this all right so we can see our everything here looking good looking nice now we want this to like be moving in a way because like it's just though it's like an image we don't want it to look like an image okay so we're going to say float and we're going to say floating range yes equals to minus 0 0.7 to 0 0.7 okay then we'll say speed equals to one then we'll come down here and we'll say i will save this okay so now this should be floating up and down okay so you can see it's floating up and down don't mind the little lag it's just my system okay so that's what we have over there then down here um, so when we go back to our app so we have that working so here i'm just going to paste um just some divs with some images 
I have over here. And we scroll down, you can see just this thick green section here. And just our slider with React MacQ. So if we load this, we should have everything completed. Boom. So we have this moving. How do we have this moving? It's very simple. We're using um we're using MacQ from fast React Fast MacQ. Okay, so that's the breakdown of how we create the site. The footer is very, very simple, it's nothing complex. It's just like all strings from day one. So, okay, so that's run of the site. If you need the source code, send me a message on Instagram or Telegram. And please make sure you like and you subscribe. It really helps a lot. Thank you. God bless you.